Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give some love to my Jackson Dinky JS227 7 string guitar, change the strings, polish, clean the body, check the electronics and do a complete setup. Let me give you some background information about this guitar, but always remember that if you want to skip all my blah 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 nonsense, you can click on the timecode stamps in the description and pin comment below. So I bought this guitar online, sight unseen, from Toman. Never tried one before, first 7 string I ever had. It was very cheap, but yeah, like 5 years later, it sounds almost perfect. And it's a beast of a guitar. I've always been a big fan of Jackson guitars and this one is really killer. I mean, you can really feel the neck is great, the scarf joint is great and fantastic. Alright, so let's talk about its specs more in detail. So it is very cheap, like $200, but I guess it's a great guitar, at least a great starting point if you want to try a 7 string. So this beast is a 26 and a half inch scale, popular body, awesome satin black finish, bolt-on maple neck with graphite reinforcement and the scarf joint, compound radius neck, amaranth fingerboard, 24 jumbo frets, it's got perloid piranha tooth lace, the small shark fins, and it features the most hated Jackson 3x4 headstock. I personally like it here, but I prefer the classic pointy headstock on 6-string guitars. Originally it had black hardware, Jackson fixed bridge, HT7 string through body hardtail, Jackson seal die cast black tuners, one volume, one tom, three position blade switch, M2 Jackson high output humbucker pickups. But as you can see, I modified this guitar very much, so it has a tunematic chrome bridge, 7 string Duncan solar pickups thanks to my friend Marco from Finland for this and yeah, the back is pretty much the same alright, so let's start let's lay this beauty on the bench so, here we are Jackson JS227 absolutely great guitar for the price my first 7 string, instant purchase and sounds killer so, let's see definitely needs a lot of clean on the fretboard this is gunk, dust Pick cap height also must be adjusted and I guess the intonation as well. Yes, yeah, so it's sharp. Oh, buzz, buzz, buzz. Okay. So, first thing first, let's remove the strings. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. String tension is very loose. And yes, this one is going to come off. Let me cut them all one by one. First one. This was big. That's what she said. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay. I've just noticed that I already put like five wraps of the strings. Such a maniac, guys. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wraps. Oh, it's because of seven string. <clears throat> so, this one is going to come off very easily. One. Two, six, seven. Okay. Okay, so this guitar has been modded to death, as you can see. Who is this? Uh, Duncan Sword pickups, tunematic bridge, and tailpiece when it originally had a string through body fixed bridge. I'm very happy with it. The original bridge was garbage. Scratch my ends, not good at all. All right, so let's clean the fretboard. Man, you can really tell this guitar needed to be cleaned.
And this product that I'm using from Dunlop works really well, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but all the gunk, all the dirt and the dust is really dissolving just by wiping this microfiber cloth on the fretboard. Money well spent. It wasn't that expensive, though. I think I got the whole package of the fretboard conditioner and the body cleaner, as well as the strings conditioner for like, I don't know, 25 euros. Yeah, it definitely needed to be cleaned. Poor Jackson. And let's say some trivia about this one. I played this guitar the last time that I played live. And it's been a lot of years ago, unfortunately. But you know, life's hard, things happen, people change. People change their mind also. It was back in 2016, I guess, or it was 17. I don't know. And I'm giving this fretboard even some more love because you can really feel and see that the fingerboard drank everything. Especially in the lowest part. My goodness. Yes, this thing needed to be cleaned. Okay. 12 done. 12 more to go. Look at it. It's shining. I don't think this guitar has ever been so clean in its whole life. No more dirt, no more gunk. I don't have very sweaty hands, so I don't really need to clean my guitars that often, but yeah. This one looks really cool now. Right time to clean the body and the hardware of the guitar. I'm using this guitar polish and cleaner from Dunlop also. This was the package. As always, I want to stress it, man. Use two different cloths. You know, one for the lemon oil and one for the guitar polish, for the body polish. And you would say, oh man, they look so similar. How can I switch them? Oh, it's very difficult. Which one is which? So it's very easy. I wrote a B for the body and an L for the uh, lemon oil. Could be an F for the fretboard. For fuck you also. Secret weapon is this Dunlop 65 formula guitar polish and cleaner. And um, yeah, just spray it two, three times, one, two, I don't know, spray it and clean your guitar. Go in those nasty little spaces where all the dirt and the gunk meet up. Oh yes, you can really tell the difference from this side to this. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it looks awesome. Very shiny. Shines bright like a diamond. Perfectly cleaned. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's better. Wasn't that firm. So let's also do this. Okay. So have you ever tried any air stop dinky like this one? You know? It's a bit higher on the central section of the guitar. Not a big difference, I must say. Looks cool. Just a little bit heavier. Okay. Can't really remember which side, I guess this one was right. Okay. All right. There it is. Okay, so, oh, oh, I also need to clean the uh, headstock of the guitar. I always forget. Let me clean the back. 
hopefully one okay did it so Okay, smells clean, at least cleaner than me, definitely very well polished. Okay, so I'm installing new strings now and I'm using this ones. The Adario Nickel Wound XL EXL 110 for 7 strings and it's 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, 46 and 59. It's funny because it says normal six string set, but there are eight. E, B, G, D, A, E, B, and F sharp. So let's start with the B, the seventh. So I guess it's copper. Copper looks very similar to brass. So B and E could be very easily switched. So this one should be brass and this one copper yeah you can really tell the difference okay so this is the biggest one like she said let's put it in okay and let me see the nut well the nut is good the string doesn't go over past half of its height, so it's good like it is. Okay, so can I put this here? Yes, I can. Ooh, it's tough, very tough. One, two, how many wraps? I'd say no more than three, because it's very big, okay. Uh, it's tough. This is very hard to get. Like he said. Okay. Yes, it fit. Okay. Stay down. Calm down. Okay, let me cut it. Ugh. One. Then we have the other one. The... The... Brace, brass. How do you say it? How do you spell it? Brass? Breast? <laughs> okay. Okay, strings are in place. I want to see the string height, so hold on tight. I need to tune it. More or less, let me check the string height. Hmm. Well, it's good. Is it really that good? Unbelievable. All right, so even this time, I don't have a capo, but I have a pen and a rubber band. So I want the pen to press down on the strings and it's very easy because all you have to do is this and this and also wrap it well see if it can fit if it can fit if it can fit yes it does you just need usually a credit card i'm using this one well the neck relief is very good so i'm not touching the truss rod so let me quickly check the electronics 
I'm pretty sure everything is okay since I uh, changed the pickup uh, like two months ago and hasn't touched it since then. But I guess just a quick control should do it. Good. Let me check. Okay. Ooh. So what happened here? Oh, this was, this is why I felt like there was some minor buzzing. So these two wires, well, they are soldered together and they are okay. So I guess simply this little piece of paper come off and so it's just a little bit of electrical tape to make these bad boys always stay together. Yes, it's good. Otherwise, when I'm playing, if it's touching like something else, it's giving me ground issues. So just snip a little bit of it. It's even too much, I think. And just do it this way. Okay, you keep it, you wrap it, make sure everything is connected together. Then you just want to tape it over and over and over again. And all right. This should be fine. Okay. Let me close this back again. All right. So, everything's fine. This is clean. And all I need to do is just to put this little piece of foam right there, right here. So I will get rid of the string noise when playing. Loosen the string, strings. I can tell that it was like that, like this. This is it. And this looks awesomely good. Okay. This one here fits here perfectly. Okay. And the other one like that. Should be enough. Okay. All right, now let's tune it back again. Intonation. It's good. So let's hear how it sounds. For this test I'm using this Jackson straight into my Focusrite Scarlett 2 2 straight into Reaper.
All right, folks, this is all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to click the bell button to be notified whenever I'm posting new videos and reviews. Also, if you're a metalhead like me, don't forget to check out my instrumental solo album Musa. It's out now and it's available on all digital platforms. Also, if you're a death trash metalhead, don't forget to check out my hybrid practice band project. And if you're a bedroom producer like me, come take a visit to my Facebook group. It's called MSIMS and VST Plugins for Metalheads. It's a great community. It's growing more and more every day. There are more than 1000 members now, so you always get updates for new plugins. Thanks for watching. See you the next time.